This is an NBC News special report. We have some significant breaking news to send to us as we have learned now that the U.S. and British military have launched strikes against targets in Yemen, areas of Yemen controlled by the Houthis. This is according to two U.S. officials. This, of course, comes in the wake of those Houthi rebel strikes on ships in the Red Sea, those strikes on commercial ships that we've been talking about now for weeks. It is, of course, the potential for a big escalation of the growing conflict in the Middle East. We've got team coverage tonight. I want to start with Gabe Gutierrez, who is live for us at the White House. Gabe, what do we know and where does this go? Oh, well, hi there, Hallie. As you mentioned, two sources confirmed to us that the U.S. and uh, British forces have started um, strikes against Houthi targets inside Yemen. Now, this is an escalation, uh, Hallie. There, the U.S. had been trying to um, prevent um, or had retaliatory strikes against uh, Houthi forces before, but th these are the first land-based retaliatory strikes that the U.S. Um, has undergone. Now, they targeted multiple locations inside Yemen with fighter jets and tomahawks fired from Navy ships. Now, Hallie, this comes after the White House has repeatedly warned the Houthis over the last several weeks to essentially knock it off. Now, none of these warnings had apparently worked. Uh, today, the Iranian Navy sees an oil tanker off the coast of Oman, raising the stakes here. Of course, the Houthis being uh, backed by Iran, according to the National Security Council here. And the U.S. had been considering targeting uh, these land-based positions for some time now, uh, the U.S. and the U.K. had already responded by shooting down missiles and drones fired by the Houthis. The U.S. Navy recently sank Houthi boats that had fired on commercial ships. Now, today, Secretary of State Blinken was in Cairo, and he said, I don't think the conflict is escalating, but there are danger points, according to the Secretary of State. But again, the breaking news there, Hallie, that two U.S. officials confirmed to NBC News that the U.S. and British military have launched strikes against yeah. the Houthi uh, militant group inside Yemen for the first time, Hallie. Raf Sanchez, I want to go to you now, live for us in Israel, in Tel Aviv. And Raf, we have talked now for weeks about the potential for a broader regional escalation, particularly after these attacks by Houthis uh, in the Red Sea. We know there have been more than two dozen on commercial ships, commercial tankers. This has been an issue that the U.S. and allies uh, around the world have been trying to get a handle on. This has been an issue for two months, Sally, and the Houthis, week after week, attack after attack, have been defying the U.S., defying America's allies, and continuing these strikes on commercial ships heading through the Red Sea, through that narrow strait called the Bab el-Mandeb. Uh, around 20 percent of global trade disrupted by these Houthi attacks, according to the U.S. government. You have ships, rather than going through the Red Sea, through the Suez Canal, and into the Mediterranean, are now taking this very long route around the southern coast of Africa. The Houthi attacks have been driving up the cost of shipping, costs which have been passed on to consumers all over the world. And it has, been, it has become a situation that has become untenable from the perspective of the White House, from the perspective of the British government, You've heard Secretary Blinken, as he's been here in the region over the last week, saying again and again, there will be consequences if these Houthi attacks continue. And they have continued. Just yesterday, according to the U.S. and British militaries, the Houthis launching their largest, most complex attack yet. 18 drones, three missiles fired at ships in the Red Sea, despite those warnings from the U.S., from the U.K., these strikes have been very highly telegraphed, Tally. The Houthis have known they were coming. Mm -hmm. They have put out warnings of their own, saying that they will respond to any American attacks, and they have options in terms of targets. Commercial ships in the Red Sea, American bases in the region, but also Saudi Arabia, oil facilities there, which they've targeted many, many times in the past. So we're seeing these American and British strikes coming now. The question is, how will the Houthis respond?